Love it. Hey, what's up? Little lunch with bomb here. I got a great one for you today. Uh, when you come on, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Tell me where you're coming from. Uh, love to hear any questions you got. This is uh, fitting since. Uh... What's up, Trav? What's up? I've uh, showed up, but uh, you know we're starting a new season. We got softball starting. We got uh, our high school seasons in the middle middle of the year. But uh, my my uh, my thought is uh, actually I'll tell you a story real quick. So very successful football program in Pennsylvania and the beginning of the year, first game of the year, you know, got a, you know, hey, what's up, Cheryl? Uh, we got, uh, you know, the band's playing, you know, we got the teams are all jacked up, they're ready to go. And uh, mom uh, catches coach uh, on the way out to the field and she said, uh, hey, Nash, what's up, buddy? Uh, mom asked coach, she said, hey, coach, how's the team going to be this year? And, uh, you know, coach stops for a second and he pauses and he's thinking about it and he looks back and he's like, not sure, ask me in 10 years. And uh, you know, cause we have no idea how our kids are gonna turn out. You know, my girls, uh, what up Mark, buddy? How's it going down there? Um, you know, the, the kids, when they, when they start playing, you know, we don't, we don't have any idea how they're going to turn out. We have to still life lessons. Why I love the weight room so much is we have an opportunity to instill life habits into our kids. When we talk about nutrition, we instill life habits. It's not a quick fix. It's not something that's just going to be, you know, here today and gone tomorrow. It's got to be sustainable, right? Uh, another story, there was an old, uh, you know, education series years ago, uh, and they, they called it Plan, Do, Review, right? So the kids, what do they do, right? They, they come up with this idea. My girls do it all the time. They come up with an idea, they plan it, they do it, whatever it is, and then they review it and they think about whether they liked it or not. I said, so, you know, going back to the coaches things, you know, as parents and as coaches, we get so caught up on hey, we got to play more and we got to play more games and we got to travel ball and we got to do all this and that. And then, so go with the plan, do review, right? So they do it from the time that they're little kids. I see it all the time at the high school now. We get our kids get to be juniors and seniors and they don't want to play anymore because they've played so much. There's been so much sacrifice. Most of the time it's been negative. So what do they do? They plan it, they do it. Now they're thinking back and they're thinking that wasn't very much fun. So I'm going to change. You know, it's the definition of insanity too, right? Do the same thing over and over and over again, think I might get a different result, right? Now, some people can persevere and push through it. I had a good buddy that runs a, a performance training sport uh, uh, group, and he always says, you know, our kids that stick with the program, you know, they get with, you know, they get some college scholarship, you know, to go on and play. And my, my question about it is, that was great, but what about the kids that quit? You know, it's got to be sustainable. It's got to be, you know, life-sustaining. You know, that's the problem why, why things, you know, don't work. You know, going back to the coach, right, is that how are my kids going to turn out? I have no idea. When I was a head baseball coach, my number one job was to teach my guys to be good young men. And my, my second job was to make them the best baseball players that they could be. You know, some of them didn't like me. They didn't agree with me. They didn't understand why I was doing uh, what I'm doing. I had one of my kids go into the Marines, you know, and him and I, we did not get along. Uh, about 10 years later, I had a kid walk into the weight room, full military garb, walks in, comes, shakes my hand, says, hey, coach, sorry for being such a jerk. Turned around, walked out. That was it. But he got it. It takes some guys a little longer to figure it out. But don't forget why you do what you do. All right, one more sh here. Trav's getting after it. All right, Crushville. All right, been a while. Incline. All right. So, you know, what's up, Pam? How's things going, Candace? That's the truth, right? Yeah, we got to teach them life habits. You know, my, the thing about my girls, you know, we want to instill life lessons into them. There's going to come a time where they're, they're going to have to be big kids and they're going to have to make their own choices, their own decisions. You know, so don't forget why we do what we do, and especially as a coach and a parent. You know, our girls got done with their soccer game last night um, and they're third graders. And, and I asked a couple of the girls, I said, hey, did you try your hardest? They said, yeah. I said, did you have fun? Yeah, awesome. Good job. You know, those are the two of the best questions you can ask your kids uh, after they're done playing. You know, don't get in the car and, uh, you know, berate them about, you know, why'd you do this and why'd you do that? You know, if they, if they made a mistake, shoot, they already know they made a mistake. They don't need you telling them, hey, you made a mistake. Why are you doing that? You know, because they're out there and they're planning, they're doing, and they're going to review themselves. All right, you can help them in a positive way and review the process so that they keep doing it again. The last thing you want to do is hammer them, hammer them, hammer them, and there's going to come a time, 
and I've experienced it, been doing this for 21 years now, I see it all the time. Kids get to their junior, senior year in high school, and they've been baseball and softball players, and all of a sudden, they're, uh, you want to know why we have such a successful track program uh, here at Newburgh High School? Is that Reigns loves it when the kids uh, shut it down in other sports and come and uh, goes out for his sport. You know, they do the things that they've done for so long, and they're like, Coach, I got to go throw a spear. How cool was that? And all of a sudden, we got one of our guys. He wins a Pac-12 championship throwing the javelin. Right, Cody? Moose. All right. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, but, you know, don't forget why we do what we do. You know, encourage your kids. Uh, help them review things uh, so that down the road that, uh, you know, they continue to do it. We want it to be life-sustaining. All right. Uh, that was a good one. I love that one. Later, Trav. Later. There's one of my boys right there as one of the, uh, you know, how do I know what our guys are going to turn out to be? You know, when they come back 5, 10, 15 years later and they come and, and they get to work out, they come and he's going to pump out some chin-ups right here. All right. He gets to come back and work out with me. Uh, you know, that's, that's how I know. All right. You guys have a great day. Shoot me any questions, comments. Uh, love you all. We'll talk soon. Lunch with Bomb coming back tomorrow.